we have found, as you said, the the uh, ISA virus in some juvenile soccer just out from the lake coming down rivers inlet last spring. This is the first definitive report, and I'm using the word definitive as defined by the OIE, the International Organization. Um, it's the first definitive report in the North Pacific. In order to have it uh, properly defined by the OIE, the international agency, there has to be a repeat of those samples. Um, that sample has to be um, done in duplicate and uh, in order to confirm uh, that that's what they found. And then they have to take the next step, which is to take more of the sample and actually sequence the entire uh, virus so they can determine exactly what strain it is. We haven't had those tests done yet. I can personally think of no plausible explanation for how it got here other than in the salmon farms. I, I believe that, that uh, testing has been carried out. I really am not very knowledgeable about the extent of that testing. As Dr. Rutledge mentioned, he wasn't very aware of the status of uh, the testing on our farms. And uh, uh, we have a very comprehensive uh, program of testing for fish health. And we have been actually doing tests for the ISA virus now since, ni since 2004. Um, almost 5,000 tests have been completed on the farms uh, in British Columbia. Every single one of those has turned up negative for ISA. We're, we're in agreement with uh, Dr. Rutledge when he said uh, yesterday that there's three things we need to do. You know, we need to get uh, and look at the full DNA of this virus, find out um, just which variant it is and how long it's been in B.C., a long, long time or a short time. And uh, then we need to go and look into um, uh, the wild fish uh, populations and find out, if we can find it, uh, how, how widespread it is. And then... If it's found out there, is it actually causing disease, or is it just something that's riding along with these fish? And the third point he mentioned was, you know, looking into the farm salmon. But again, we have that data, and we've made it available through the Cohen Commission, and we'll continue to make that available.